What's up, my fellow quarantine victims? Today we're going to be talking about Marcus Kruber, more specifically, the Huntsman. His passive ability, waste not, want not, ranged headshots recover one ammunition. Pretty cool, he's a ranged class, it makes sense, I like it. His career skill, Hunter's Prowl, Marcus disappears from sight for six seconds, and when he fires, he gains boosted attack damage, and the arrow that, or arrows that he shoots uh, do not consume ammunition. He also has Poacher's Mark, that is double effective range for ranged weapons, call out weakness, an aura that increases critical strike chance by 5%, that means that it spreads to your allies as well if they are relatively close to you. And then Deep Pockets, increases ammunition capacity by 50%. Pretty cool. <clears throat> so now we're going to be talking about his THP skill. I like Huntsman's Tally. Melee killing blows, restores temporary health. Pretty good. One of the better THP talents. Um, pretty good for higher difficulties. Um, you also have Taste of Victory here, Staggering Enemies. You know, that's one, it's not a bad one as well. Another good one, but for the weapon I'm going to be using, I want the Killing Blows, definitely. And then One in the Eye, Increased Headshot Bonus Damage by 50%. I love it. Much like the Witch Hunter Captain, if you have the skill for the headshot, you can get that much extra damage. That is both for uh, range and melee. Your other options here are make them bleed. Critical hits cause enemies to take 20% increased damage for a short duration. Does not stack with similar effects. So if you want to just be like the crit guy, you're not, maybe you're not going for headshots, body shots, but you rely on crits, you'll do a little extra damage that way. You also have Maim. Ranged attacks deal 30% more damage to enemies below 50% health. I, I mean, these are honestly not that bad, but this one I think just blows it out of the water. I think it's maybe a little bit harder to do. It takes a little more practice, but it's well worth it and a lot better. Down here you have Enhanced Power, Bulwark, and Smiter. If you've watched any of my videos before, you know how I feel about Smiter. I love it. Smiter is very good for going for that initial hit on an enemy. So, as you can see, I'm going to be using the spear and the, with the headshot. Like that. That's not a crit, but that's 12,000 damage. I mean, with enhanced power, that's a crit, but a non crit. A non crit. Like that. Jesus Christ, Kruber. Non crit. Stop it. A non crit would be 10,700. So, fairly significantly less, and then Bulwark is like even less than that. It's like 10,000. Um, Smiter's the way to go. You know, you do a little more range damage with enhanced power versus this, but you do much more melee damage with Smiter. And with the spear, which I'm going to be using, it's perfect. Then you have Making It Look Easy. This is probably his best. Uh, talent here, in my opinion. After scoring a ranged headshot, Marcus gains 25% increased critical hit chance. So that is added on to your call out weakness and whatever you have on your gear. So you can have quite a bit of crit chance with this guy. Your other options are burst of enthusiasm, scoring a ranged headshot or critical strike grants two temporary health. Critical headshots double the effect. So some people who play Huntsman, they all they do is shoot. They just shoot and shoot and shoot. They don't care about melee, whatever. They just want to shoot. <clears throat> now, I don't particularly like that play style. I don't find it to be very helpful. I find it to be kind of dickish. Because more often than not, people doing that are not that great shots. And they end up shooting their teammates or even just missing shots. And they're always like the first one to die, you know. I don't like this playstyle, so I don't recommend this. Um, you also have Thrill of the Hunt. Range headshots increase reload speed by 20% uh, for 5 seconds. Not really that great because I liked the bow with this build. And the reload speed is not that long. So I think this one absolutely blows these other two out of the water for the crit chance. Um, and then you have Shot Crafter, Killing a Special Restores 10% am Ammunition. That's, um, you know, if you run out, 
and you kill a assassin or a, you know, a blightstormer, whatever, doesn't matter. Any kind of special, you'll get like um, three arrows back or four arrows back or something. It's kind of nice. Um, and he also have long shanks over here, increases movement speed by 10%. Um, anybody that knows anything about Vermintide knows that movement speed is a joke. It's completely useless. It's a waste of your time, your energy, your talent. Don't even bother. Because what's the point of being slightly faster? You know, if you're going to do the movement speed thing, it just doesn't make sense. It's just why would you want to, like, run faster than the group? Why would you want to be farther away from your team? You know, it just doesn't make sense. I don't... I don't understand movement speed. I don't like it. And you have Master Huntsman. Reduces damage taken by 3%. Increases to 30% after the party kills a monster. It lasts until end of mission or death. So, <clears throat> this one's okay, but it's not really that great. Like, 3% reduced damage is absolutely nothing. But after a monster, you kill a monster, you know, 30%, that's decent. However, he has such little health that it really doesn't matter. And you're also then relying upon that there actually is a monster in the map. Now, most of the time there probably will be a monster, but maybe not always. You know, you're kind of you're kind of relying on this here. It's if there's no monster in the map, what have you done? Then you've wasted a talent. You know, you're not getting anything except three percent reduced damage, which is let's be honest, that's basically nothing. <laughs> so I like this one. Just let you. Um, get a little bit of emergency ammunition back if you need it. And then down here, the uh, ultimate reduces cooldown of Prowl by 30%. So his Prowl ability is like, he'll go into stealth mode, and it'll last for a little bit, and when you shoot, it does more damage, but then you're revealed, right? So this lets you do that uh, one time, but the cooldown is reduced 30%. Head down or hidden, Increases the duration of Prowl uh, to 10 seconds. So, that, so this way you can stay in stealth longer, but it's still the one shot, and then you're revealed the minute you shoot. I like Concealed Strikes because you get the stealth, and you're able to get like three or four shots off in stealth mode, all for boosted damage. Pretty cool. And then for the equipment, like I mentioned, I like the Spear. Power versus Chaos, Crit Chance, you know, if you're one of these people you can go for attack speed crit chance I guess swift slaying either way I like the power versus chaos and the crit chance because um, you know I like the chaos warrior one shot idea I like to be able to kill chaos warriors it gives me temp health it looks cool it makes me feel like a badass I like it what more can you say you know I'm gonna be using charge attacks most of the time with this spear so it's just it's nice it's a little extra damage to the higher uh, HP clan and then you have the longbow <clears throat> I like the longbow kind of a weird uh, assimilation of talents here and I'll explain um, for the trait I like hunter um, I use barrage on like the elf's bow because it's a little bit faster so you can get that increased damage Hunter on this guy makes more sense because it's a little bit slower um, for barrage, but it crits more. So that way you get 25% increased power off a of crit for a long. It lasts a long time too, so like it's pretty good. And I go for crit power and power burst monsters. So this, like my longbow, is pretty much just gonna be my monster killer. I'll go for specials and elites, of course, if I need to. Um, but the main focus of this bow is going to be killing a monster. I don't put crit chance on this bow simply because I'm going to be relying on my headshot ability. I'm going to have that 25% crit chance, so I'm going to crit plenty. But I want to be able to do the damage. I'm going to have the crit power. I want the damage to monster. And that's basically my plan. I like it. And then for the necklace, bark skin. I always recommend bark skin. Um, unless you're going to go with, like, Boon the Shally, yeah, that one's pretty good, too. But I like Barkskin. Uh, if you take two hits, you get 40% reduced damage. It's just something to keep you from dying very quickly if you happen to 
like say you lag in a match and you get hit twice or maybe you just take two hits you know stuff happens um, that helps you out tremendously then I go for health 20% health every character that you use should have 20% extra health or however much you can get you might not have red gear or maxed uh, properties and then I go for block cost reduction um, I flip for I flip back and forth between this and stamina sometimes, but I like VCR because uh, it just lets you block if you need to, and also pick up your teammates more effectively versus stamina. Stamina is kind of like an all-out offensive thing, which can be good, but I mean I like I'm into block cost reduction right now. And then for my charm, power versus chaos, extra damage to the chaos, little bit of attack speed. Um, this guy is interesting because I don't really feel like the potion uh, trait really matters all that much. Like, I, I'm i comfortable with concoction, so I use that, but I mean, you can use proxy, you can use decanter. They really all work pretty well with this guy. Like, you can use any of these three. Any single one. Um, but I do recommend chaos and attack speed. And then for the trinket... 33% curse resistance, that's the max. 5% crit chance, just lets you get that extra little bit. And then shrapnel, you know, you take a you take a bomb, you throw it at the monster, he's taking 20% increased damage, you go into prowl, you shoot him with your bows, you crit, you get hunter, you're doing fucking all this extra damage. It's pretty good. You know, there's a right way, I feel, and a wrong way to play Huntsman Kruber this is the right 